Hi, so today we do the second part of the vowels and um, I've already written the vowels here. Let's look at the uh, table. So these are the vowels. These four vowels are the ones that we're going to do today. It's A, A, O, A. And yeah, so that is what we're going to do. Um, let's write the vowel once again so that you see how they are written. Let's delete them for a second and write them once more. So I write A. I write A. I write O. And I write O. So you see in both cases the only difference is that there is a second or a first um, um, top sign. I don't know the exact. I will do this in a later video where I teach you about all the um, specifics of um, uh, specific uh, uh, terms of grammar for these things. They're all Sanskrit terms for all these signs and everything. Okay, so A so, and each of these vowels does have a attached vowel sign. And um, so we do it the same way that I did it in the other video. I put the um, consonant as a dotted, dotted circle. And then I will show you how uh, the attached vowel sign is attached. Okay, so the E, this will be a bit confusing because actually the E is attached on top with this line and you might assume that this would be A, but A is actually attached this way with two top signs. So, and then the system for O and O is very similar, just that it also has a vertical line. This is how the O is attached. Oops, and now we're getting into a little trouble. Uh, and this is how the O is attached. So now let's give some examples, uh, if I can think of any. Um, this would be the um, uh, yeah, Mo is the first person singular um, pronoun, I, and then but in some cases you have to say not Mo but Moile. That is a grammatical construction that we learn another time. But let's just write moile. Moile is written like that. Moile. We only do. Um, oh, actually, now, yeah, that's beautiful because now we have here we have the e, and here we have the a. Moile. This is a lo, and this is a mo. Moile. And now let's think about. Um, Oh, yeah, there is, I think it's written like that. Tato, tato means hot, and tato is written like this. These are the T sounds, and um, this is the A that uh, was discussed in the first part, and this is the O. And O, um, now I have to think about a word. Um, Mo is mocha. I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. Mm. Let's create a word <laughs> just so you see. It's, it's a simple system. Uh, let's say there is a word that's called saro. Um, so sa would be written like this sa ra and o. Sa ra. There might be even a word. A word, but I don't know that is very inventive right now. So, maile is for both cases and tato and saro. Yeah, that that is basically it. Now, the video is gone, but don't let yourself be disturbed.